How's it going, folks? I'm Des with Desfit, and today Wahoo's launching a new training platform they call System, which integrates a lot of what we've seen before from the Sufferfest training platform, but now with lots more workout and content that's not just for cyclists, including weight training, running, swimming, yoga, and some more. So Wahoo acquired Sufferfest about two years ago, and it made a lot of sense from the standpoint that Wahoo's a pretty dominant force when it comes to indoor bike trainers, and having an indoor cycling training platform to complement their bike trainers kind of goes hand in hand. But Wahoo also makes Element bike computers, as well as the Element rival sports watch and system is kind of a natural progression i think this could be significant because as an athlete a training platform is what can bring all these devices together so what wahoo's done is take sufferfest which is science-based training for cyclists with structured power-based workouts along with videos of different races or rides and integrates that into a new platform with a new app with lots of new content for cyclists as well as other types of athletes and this is going to be available across a wide variety of devices and today's just the launch of system and i'll be going over everything that's going to be available for you as of today but there is going to be a a lot more coming down the road and I will even be able to share some of those things with you in this video. So right now the new system app will be available on iOS devices including iPads and iPhones, Windows computers, Macs, and yes Android devices. And what about Apple TVs? Well that's not available right now but that is under development so stay tuned for updates when that comes out later on down the road. So let's take a tour of what you'll get with System. So when you launch the app, you'll go through a pretty simple setup process where you'll enter in some personal details so System can get an idea of your fitness level, and then it can custom tailor a workout program for you. You'll then choose a start date for your training plan, and that's pretty much it for the initial setup. And then at that point, it'll populate your training plan into the calendar. And what you can see here is that I'm using the free 14-day trial. And then after the 14-day trial, it's either $15 a month or $130 for a year. So when you click on one of these workouts, it'll show the duration of the workout, the TSS, as well as the intensity factor. And below that, you'll see the workout profile in terms of the power targets you're supposed to hit throughout the workout. Below that's gonna be the 4DP focus of the workout. And 4DP stands for four dimensional power, which is gonna be your near muscular power, anaerobic capacity, maximal aerobic power, and your FTP or functional threshold power. And since System is currently pretty cycling focused, they do encourage you to do their 4DP fitness test, which sets a baseline and helps System determine your strengths and weaknesses so it can better tailor a workout program for you. And if you're already a Sufferfest user, you should probably be familiar with this workout. And it's, um, it's definitely a fitness test. But once you are done with your 4DP workout, it'll then identify your rider type, and I am indeed a sprinter, and it'll give test results for your near muscular power, anaerobic capacity, maximal aerobic power, and FTP. And you can see here that I clearly need to work on my maximal aerobic power, which is definitely a weakness of mine. Oh, and really quick, if you find the information in this video useful, or if you just want to give me a thumbs up for having to do an FTP test just for the sake of this video, do me a favor and just hit that like button down below, as it helps this video and the channel out a lot quite a bit, and I appreciate it. But whether or not you do that 4DP fitness test, when you launch the app each time, it'll show what you have planned for today, what you did yesterday, and what's planned for tomorrow. Now, if we pop over the calendar view, here's where we can see the higher level look at the current training plan that I have in place with a summary of what I have planned as well as accomplished for each week. So you can see here that on Sunday, I did that 4DP as well as a strength training workout. Today, I have another workout planned along with some yoga. But let's say I wanna go for an outside ride today and not do this workout. Well, what I can do is reschedule that workout for another day if I'd like, or just remove it altogether. So at this point, you may be asking, what happens if I skip an indoor workout and want to do something outside? Well, as of right now, System doesn't have the ability to import outdoor workouts, but that is already under development, so they do have that in mind. So that way, when you import an outdoor workout or a workout that wasn't necessarily in your training plan, it'll then adjust your training calendar. And the other question that you may have at this point is, can I do any of these workouts outside on my bike computer? And again, not ready right now, but that is planned for the future. And then in terms of what types of training plans they currently have available, you'll be able to choose from cycling plans, multi-sport plans, as well as cross-training. So for the cycling plans, there are seven-day plans that help you prepare for the fitness test, like the 4DP test. There's event-focused plans where you can choose what type of event, whether that'll be road, gravel, mountain bike, and even online. There's just a general training plan with no event planned, the 14-day tour of system, which should give you a pretty good idea of what system has to offer, and then what they call a week with, which is basically has you training along with some well-known faces from Wahoo they call Wahooligans like Ian Boswell. And then for the strength training plans, you can see here that again, these do target the cyclist, but there's also strength training plans for multi-sport athletes. You'll choose a progression in terms of weekly work to rest ratio, and then choose a strength training level, and then you'll schedule your plan. You can stack plans on top of each other if you'd like. And that brings us to all the content that system provides in terms of the workouts as well as the video. So they've categorized all the content up top right here by sport type, whether that be cycling, strength training, running, swimming, yoga, as well as mental training. So for instance, if we click on cycling, it has a whole bunch of different workouts to choose from showing the power profile for each workout. And then for strength training, there's plenty of stuff here as well. And just to give you an idea of what these look like, they have videos showing the different movements along with timers for each movement. 
And then for running workouts, what you'll notice is that you won't be doing this on the app itself. It instructs you to actually write this workout down and follow it. And that's not super ideal, of course, but what you'll also notice is that it says it cannot be completed in the app or shared devices yet. And you can definitely tell that Wahoo does have device integration in mind here. It's not just their Element Bike computers, it's also the Element Rival Watch. And then the same thing can be said for swimming, where again, you'll have to essentially manually do these workouts and mark them as complete, but they pretty much all sit but say that this is coming in the future. Additionally, there's this section down here where you can explore more content by channel. And for the most part, these are cycling focused at the moment with suffer vest videos, inspiration videos, GCN videos, and then workouts with no videos at all. But below that's gonna be content like a week with videos. There's also this pro rides content, which are workouts with videos where you have a first person view with a Peloton. And these are definitely pretty engaging. And then on location, which takes you to some iconic cycling locations like the Pyrenees, the fitness test like we've seen before, and then the getting started videos. Now, being that system is a Wahoo service, you may be wondering how well system works with third-party hardware. And the good news is just like Sufferfest, it works just fine with third-party hardware. So you can benefit from all of the gains of system without necessarily having to have a Wahoo trainer. But if you do have Wahoo devices, Wahoo is planning some tighter integration in the future where you'll be able to manage your devices from either the Element app or the system app or vice versa. And this portion is definitely in development and it's a little bit cloudy on how this is exactly supposed to work, but it is nice to know that Wahoo is thinking about this, but it is also nice to know that third-party hardware works with system. Right now, other than the feedback that you get from the 40p fitness test, there isn't much in terms of training feedback, but they do have some basic analytics plan with training load, power curve, and a breakdown of your particular activities. But where I really want to see this go is having more of this type of information be available on the Element Rival for those who wear it daily. So as of this morning, the new system app should be available for all of you out there. And if you do already have the stuff app installed, it should just automatically update to the system app. And the good news is all your account information also should sync over, including your workout history, badges, achievements, as well as your training plans but you may have to re-download any videos. So I think system is a big step for Wahoo and it puts them in a good position by laying the groundwork for a cohesive training platform. I mean, there's definitely a lot more work that needs to be done, but I'm really curious to see how they're gonna integrate system with their devices, but they've kind of already alluded to some of what's coming in the future. Anyhow, there's definitely gonna be more updates to the system in the future, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'd also encourage you to follow my Twitter and Instagram accounts where I do post little updates on what's new. And if the information in this video did help you out at all, don't be shy about hitting that like button down below. In the meantime, happy riding and we will see you in the next video.